Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of the Duo Group Iron Man. Last video, we got a bunch of questing done. Uh, we kind of got stuck on the Fremnik Isles though because we couldn't beat that final boss. So we'll eventually go back to that once we have like better gear and better stats. Um, but for right now, I need to AFK and edit. I say that like the start of every single video, but that is what we're gonna be doing right now. I just bought a bunch of feathers as you can see down here. So we are set to go for a while. Currently got 64 fishing. And uh, we need to get 56 agility for, I think it's regicide, yeah. Ooh, we just got 65 fishing, that is for Karambwans. Mime random done, and we just unlocked the glass box emote. That's two out of four. That's enough fishing for tonight. As you can see in the chat box, we did gain a few levels, including an agility level. We did our first farm runs on the account last video. We did some tree runs, and we ended up with over 30 farming, which means we can now plant all these willow seeds that we have right over here. The apples, or the baskets of apples, are really easy easy to get. Those are the payments for willow trees. Oh dude, the first completed birdhouse run on the account got us from level 9 to 14 hunter. And also at 14 hunter, we can start using the oak birdhouses now. So there's already an upgrade. I'm so excited to start doing these birdhouse runs. We do need to get more hop seeds though, but it's just so unfun thieving master farmers especially at 76 thieving. And then before bed tonight, we also will have our first willow tree run. Well, I did the morning farm run, which got us four farming levels, uh, and that got us above level 35. And at 35, we can plant teak trees, which is what we're doing right now. Uh, and then after this, I think I'm just gonna stand underwater for a little bit and AFK and collect seaweed spores, because we should probably get on top of that. Oh yes, genie. That's gonna give us an herb level, right? Level 37, we are one level away from making prayer potions. I'm just mining a little bit of volcanic ash so that we can make ultra compost. Um, but the amount of ash you get is scaled based on your level, and at my level, I'm only getting two per mine. However, if I had 52 mining, I'd be getting three per mine, so I think we should just leave here right now, because this is plenty to last for a little while. And then once the mining level is higher, we'll come back in the future. Yo, did you guys know about bank deposit boxes? This UIM has a tip for you. You can use an item on the bank deposit box and then you could choose to deposit it like that instead of actually opening up the interface. Didn't think you would learn that from me, did you? It's crazy, dude. Every single birdhouse I check, we just get another level. Ooh, it's the first time collecting giant seaweed on the account. Now, the amount of seaweed that you get is based on your farming level, and seeing as we're only level 36, uh, we're probably not going to be getting too many, unfortunately. Uh, another thing to mention is that the magic secateurs do not affect the yield of the giant seaweed, so... That's why I don't have them equipped. And then as we're collecting the giant seaweed, more seaweed spores will spawn. And it should upkeep itself just from doing the giant seaweed runs. We should see like one or two of those spawns each time. So we shouldn't have to stay underwater specifically to collect those. It's just that first starting bit when you don't have any at all. Man, the fail rate on these master farmers here is really annoying. And as you can see, it makes the XP rate really, really slow. I'm kind of considering just going blackjacking for a while. I mean, we could always use more money anyways, so maybe we should do that. At the very least, we'll relocate the POH to Polymneach, which costs 7.5k, and we only need 20 construction to do that, which we have 38, so... Now when we teleport to the POH, we're gonna be right over here. And now we don't have to worry about taking the fairy ring and carpet ride to get here. And then this noted salmon is like all the food I have really. We have a bunch of trout too, but salmon is better so that's what I'm bringing with me. Wow, it is really hard to find the world here. And then when I finally find an open one, it's only because someone died <laughs> apparently. Oh, whenever I come here, I have to remember to hide the NPC attack options because right now there's five of them. But if I hide them, and there's only four. So we'll put the XP tracker up on screen. We are currently at level 76 thieving, and I think we should go for at least 80 before we move on, or I'll just see how I'm feeling then, but we'll get some GP, we'll get some thieving levels, and it's gonna be a good time, because I love blackjacking. And then whenever we're out of food, we can come up here to the unnoter. We use the noted food on the banknote exchange merchant, and then it's five GP each, so it's 115 GP for the inventory, which is pretty much nothing. Then we could run back over here, hope the spot isn't taken, which it isn't, but I'm kind of worried that someone will come by while I'm getting food, because people are constantly logging in around here. They have always been hopping, though, because they see me here, thankfully. 77 been thieving. Well, it's been like one hour of thieving the Menophyte thugs, and um, I was actually trying to pay attention the whole time, which I don't normally always do that well. But you can see the GP we made was 180k in one hour, and we got over 200k XP in the hour. And the ratio of GP to XP with the rogues outfit is 120 GP for every 137.5 thieving XP. 78, 79, and there we go, 80 thieving. Uh, as you can see by the XP up here, it's been a little bit over three hours of doing thieving today. 
My wrist is not very happy, but my cash stack is very happy right now because we made over 500k GP. I did manage to keep over 200k XP per hour still. It did go a bit down though because Spook was trying to blackjack and she hasn't really done it before. So I was trying to help her out. She was at the bandits and uh, she wasn't having a good time with it. So she just ended up going to fruit stalls to finish up 55 thieving. And then from there, she's going to go to Artie Knights. We should go do birdhouse runs and farm runs and all that right now. Uh, I want to do monkey madness, but I'm kind of waiting on Spook. She wants to get 43 prayer first. So hopefully in the next day or two, she'll go over to the blue dragons or something and get 43 prayer. And then we could both do the quest together and we'll both have overheads and it'll be a fun time. And I would imagine that by the time we go do monkey madness, I probably would have 38 herblor by then. So I could just make the prayer pots. Let's put the cash in here. We have more than double the current cash stack. I just keep bringing both kinds of logs with me because I don't know when we're actually going to get the level to upgrade to the next birdhouse type um, because 24 is going to be willows. Wow, only 200 levels this birdhouse run. So sad. This game's so slow, honestly. And checking on the teak trees. They're still alive because I don't have payment for them. And off to do the seaweed run, tree run, all that good stuff. I also set her up in the group storage here with like a little farming starter pack. I gave her oak saplings and the baskets of tomatoes and the clockworks too for the birdhouse runs. Although she doesn't have Fossil Island unlocked yet. I feel like after reaching 1k total, each of the 100 level milestones kind of mean a bit more. So here we go, 1,100 total level with 38 farming. Wait a second, I just remembered, aren't we supposed to like, we need to like prune the, the willow branches or something. So maybe we should just leave the trees because it, it's enlightened journey, right? I think that's where we need willow branches for. We'll just leave that tree right there fully grown so we can harvest the branches later. Okay, so we need 12 willow branches for enlightened journey and then we need six willow branches to make a basket on a loom for the Fowler Medium Diary. I want to do the Forgettable Tail quest, but in order to do it, we need barley malt. So we have to waste our precious birdhouse run seeds to get this item. And I'm also going to waste my precious ultra compost on this patch too, just to really make sure it grows. You know, I probably should have looked up the payment beforehand because apparently the payment for the farmer to watch over barley is just three bucks of compost, so... Speaking of wasting ultra compost, everyone's getting genies. Where's my genie at? After the seaweed run, we are going to go back into the random spree of questing and start with watchtower. Mime random done, and we got two more pieces of the outfit. Oh, just kidding, actually. We finished the outfit. Yo, hey, what's good, bro? Big fan of your dad's music. I like I like the one where he goes gang gang. And there's the end of the watchtower quest. We just got a 15k magic XP drop, which I think just gave us a level. 59 magic and we get a scroll which we can now read to unlock the watchtower teleport and then once we eventually get the rd hard diary done we can actually turn this into a yanel teleport but for now we have the watchtower teleport which i'm going to cast because i believe that is a task for hard rd and it takes us right here which is a relatively close way to get to yanel uh, previously I had to use the fairy ring, which still is also pretty close, but this is a bit closer. I just used the shortcut under this wall. I guess it doesn't really matter because I could just use the Nightmare Zone teleport. Okay, we're gonna go do a birdhouse run and then move on to the next quest, which is going to be Troll Stronghold. Are you kidding me? I forgot the first- Why do I always forget the chaos runes, dude? <laughs> I have a buddy named Luke. Well, I actually, I don't know if I'd call us friends, but I know a guy named Luke and me and the boys always like to roast him by making the Star Wars joke of, you know, like, Luke, I am your father. But did you know, he actually doesn't say Luke. He says, no, I am your father. Look up the clip if you don't believe me. Okay, wait, there wasn't even a pop-up screen. I guess I just accidentally clicked through it, but that's the end of Troll Stronghold. We got the Law Talisman, a quest point. We can make Law Runes now, except we can't because we haven't even trained RC yet. Let's move on to the next quest in the series, Edgar's Ruse. Once again, another quest that was a bit annoying to do on UI I am because of all the items you have to have on you, but on this account, not very challenging. Okay, this should be Gatweed number three. Yes, we got it. Um, yeah, unfortunately, they're untradeable, so I can't get three more for my teammate. Otherwise, I, I definitely would, would do that right now for her, <laughs> of course. Yeah, 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 it's a real shame they're not tradeable. Anyways, we need one for Edgar's Ruse, one for Dream Mentor, and one for DS2. There's the end of Edgar's Ruse, 11k Herblore XP. We had 37 Herblore. And now we have level 40, so we can make our prayer pots now whenever we want. And we now have access to the Trollheim teleport, which we can't use till 61 magic, but I'll probably end up buying some wizard mind bombs so that we can boost to teleport there because we are about to do the troll romance quest, which is gonna be very beneficial if we can teleport there. <gasps> 11 11 total, make a wish. I wish I didn't have fun playing this account. 
Oh no, I told you my wish, now it's not gonna come true. Oh, we have the sled now and we never have to make it again. On the UIM, every time I got that elite clue step, I had to make this sled, which was like a five to 10 minute process every single time, but don't have to do that on this account. Oh right, and this is where we're teleporting. So right now, I cannot teleport to Trollheim, but we'll drink the wizard's mind bomb, and now we can teleport. And it's also a hard task for Fremnik. It's so funny, like when I first started playing the UIM, like I tried to always explain how things were different on a UIM compared to a normal account. And now it's like I'm explaining how things are different on a regular Iron Man compared to UIM, as if UIM's the norm or something, which I mean for me, it kind of is after playing it for two and a half years. Ooh, are these flowers tradable? I want to give some flowers this food. No, I can't. It's the thought that counts, right? I know she's watching this video. There's the end of Troll Romance. We get agility XP, strength XP, some gems. Uh, next quest is gonna be My Arms Big Adventure. I guess we're kind of just doing all the troll quests today. We could start this quest right over here. Uh, we do have to get 60% favor doing Taiba One I clean up, so I don't know if it's gonna actually let us start the quest or not before then. Oh, cool, we were able to start. Oh, look at all the stuff on the ground. This quest came out in 2006, so like imagine you see all this stuff on the ground. As a little kid, you'd probably be freaking out. Although in 2006, I definitely didn't have membership, but maybe some of you guys did. I do remember though, this quest has a lot of great puns involving my arm. At this point, we have to get 60% favor in Taibo Wanai for the quest, but we're just gonna go to 100% because we have to do that for the Karamja Medium Diary anyways. And then once we do the quest, it's gonna subtract 60%. So we'll get the 100% first before we continue on with the quest. And for each of these plants that we destroy, there's a 1% chance to get a gout tuber from it. And we need that as well for the Karamja Medium Diary. So me and Spooker are both gonna need one. Hopefully one of us can get two, or hopefully we can at least both get one when we each go for 100% favor, but we'll see. There is absolutely no way we just found the freaking Gout Tuber at 15%. That's probably like, I don't know, five plants in total or something. <laughs> oh dude, so if we find a second one, then we'll be set. Definitely don't want to eat that. If you check the GE value of it, because so many people need to buy it for the diary, but it's pretty rare. It is pretty expensive on the GE, even though GE value doesn't mean much to us. But hopefully I can get one more for Spook, save her time. Although, if I get a second one, then just knowing how RNG goes, she'll probably end up getting one right away too. The game just knows everything, dude. I think my RNG is finally coming back from when I went like, I think it was like five or six hours to get it on my hardcore a long time ago. It's finally averaging out because you know I've definitely never been lucky anywhere else in the game before ever in my whole life. It's actually faster to get favor by killing these spiders here although with how low our combat level is and with how bad the gear that we have is. Oh we got hit points level. Um, it might actually just end up being faster to just keep on hacking away at the bushes. Plus we have a chance for the gout tuber. Actually we didn't even get the favor from the spider because in order to get favor from killing the spiders you have to first like repair one of these fences and then talk to one of the guys which I didn't even do. But we'll stay at this jungle to try and get the second gout tuber. Yo it's the new cooking training meta. Ooh we just got the tribal mask. Nice. Oh it's just cosmetic. I know the shield actually has decent defense and gives uh, magic accuracy but not the mask. Here we go we are up to a hundred 100% favor, that's the medium task, and we can continue on with the quest. By the way, it took like just over an hour to do that, like hour and 15 minutes or something to get 100% favor. Well, my arm has destroyed the village and we have lost 60% of the favor. I mean, not, not my arm, but my friend, my arm. Never mind. Yo, we about to fight the budget armadil. It's kind of funny. I know like combat levels aren't necessarily indicative of like how strong a monster is, but it's just kind of funny. Whoa, frick. It's kind of funny taking on a, a level 172 as a level 56. I believe there's a safe spot if we like go back over here though. We just go back and forth between these two spots or something. Uh, I think we'll be all right. I didn't forget the cast runes this time, so that's a W for me at least. Look at my setup though, like. It's great. <laughs> Ooh, is that it? Yes, we did it. Well, it's so weird how he's digging it up, but I'm the one getting the farming XP from that. Farming level, grats. Burnt meat cooked us a very special reward. Hmm, I wonder what we're gonna get. Okay, okay, let's get the actual reward. Look at that XP drop, oh, it's so nice. Here we go, my arm's big adventure is complete. Uh, let's see, up to 42 herb lore and 42 farming. Uh-oh, as I was finishing that quest up, Spook asked me to bring her pots because uh, she's doing Ghost Ahoy and she forgot her pots to get the Ecto token. So I wonder if she's gonna be right, oh, there she is right there. <laughs> you freaking idiot. 
wow what an actual chad this is a super low-key pot deal don't tell anyone 50 ain't watching right now wait a sec i just remembered it's been legal here for like five years <laughs> never mind then perhaps just one more quest before dinner tonight we'll do enlightened journey i think we have enough willow branches now i've just been collecting them throughout the day we have 29 of them uh in total we're gonna need 36 18 for me 18 for spook so just a couple more uh collections from the tree there but we can go do the quest now. Every time I think about Entrana, I just get like flashbacks. I'm like, wait, I have to make a death pile and like set a timer and all this stuff. But no, I, I don't have to do that. I gotta like train myself to stop thinking that way. Would you like to be my number one accomplice? I mean, assistant. It's a little bit sus, dude. This game is really hard. That's why I have Runelight play it for me. Is that it? Is that the end of the quest? Nice. That was uh, really fast and really easy, actually. Any levels? Farming level. And we get this really cool bomber cap and jacket. I feel like I'm in the 80s or something. Well, I can plant toad flags at this point. I think Spook actually did go get toad flags from the Brimhaven Agility Arena because we each need a four dose agility potion for, I think it's Taibo Wanai Trio. Uh, so don't tell her that she actually didn't have to go out of the way for those. Oh my god, look at this freaking beast in the split bark. I'm not going to worry about unlocking all the balloon routes right now um, unless like situations come up where I need them for something or diaries or whatever. I'd rather just wait until I get a glory, so that way we can get to Port Serum much faster because as of right now it's kind of annoying to get to Port Serum. But we're just about to do uh, one last birdhouse run and then off to AFK Fish for the night. And we're also getting close to another agility level. And there is 34 Hunter onto the Teak Birdhouses. Ooh, 45 farming, that means we can enter the farming guild. Um, only the low tier though. I guess the closest way we can get there right now is the fairy ring, which is still a bit of a run, but once we have like decent teleports to get there faster, it'll be pretty sweet. And this is our first time harvesting any herb in the game, and it feels so sweet. This is only the beginning of the farm runs. I'm also really glad we have all these rhino seeds because we're gonna need purr pots. Like for Monkey Madness, we'll probably both be glad to have purr pots. 68 fishing, we can now enter the fishing guild. Because this is like pretty much the farming video, there is one more quest I wanna get done for this video that is like related to farming. So after this birdhouse run and seaweed run, we are going to do Forgettable Tale. And it's the one where you have to like wait around for 15 or 20 minutes. I think you wait around twice actually for like 20 minutes. So probably during one of those 20 minute periods, I'll just go to bed and then in the morning we'll finish it up. I'm so sorry I lied. I was at the seaweed and then I just wanted to edit and AFK for a bit. So I came over here to the Ammonite Crabs because it was just right over here. And we gained a couple attack levels, we got a hit points level, and uh, we just got 50 attack, which means we can equip a bunch of new weapons now, including the Ivan Staff. I think tomorrow is going to be the day that we're going to do Monkey Madness because Spook is currently training prayer. She's getting pretty close to 43 at this point. And uh, I kind of want to just skip over the Rune Scimitar, just go straight from Addy to Dragon. So if I want to do that, I guess, I guess we have to get 60 attack by using the Addy Scimitar. I guess this is going to be barely enough for the quest. That was really bad. I couldn't think of anything better. It's just too late right now. And I'll put some of this in the shared storage for Spook for when she does the quest eventually. Why do I have to clear this dead tree? Because I don't know about you, but those bananas look like they're almost ready to be ripe to me. You just pick them off and they'll be ready in a couple days. When I was a really little kid, I was into like Thomas the Tank Engine and train stuff like that. So I think subconsciously, this whole minecart thing is just like really cool to me. One last mime random before finishing up the quest and finishing up the video, we got the climb rope emote. We are now three out of four for those. Man, this looks really nice, you know, just hanging out, drinking with the boys, eating some good food. And there's the end of Forgettable Tale. 5k farming XP, 5k cooking XP, and then we get two mature dwarven stout, which are actually really hard to get, that's why they're kind of expensive. Um, but they boost your mining and smithing by plus two. So I'm going to keep them in the bank and maybe they'll come in handy for one of us at some point. One last seaweed run for today. Uh, here's our current stack of ultra compost. And then I'll show you in the bank some of the stuff that we collected and worked on this video. Here's the farming tab right now. We're up to over 450 giant seaweed. Oh yeah, I collected all the willow branches so we could take out 18 of those and then put them in the group storage for spook. I also noticed that the stack of feathers was going up because of the birdhouse runs, like even with me fishing, we're getting more feathers than I could use up. So that's pretty cool, free feathers. Something you don't normally think about when you do birdhouse runs. 
Uh, here's all the bird's nests we've collected so far, not many, but it is a start. And then a little update with the duo group Ironman high scores. Uh, we are currently the highest rank we have ever been. We are ranked 64 at the moment. It's pretty crazy. We've been like holding top 100 for a few days now. So pretty stoked about that. As you probably know by now, today's video is meant to be like a, like a dailies video, like farming, birdhouses, seaweed runs. Uh, we made it up to 38 hunter and 47 farming. We've made it up to 170 quest points. And then here's this tab as well. And next video, we should be all ready to do Monkey Madness. And I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, if you haven't already, make sure you check out Spook Dog's channel, which will be linked in every video description. And with that said, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope that you have a great day. And I will see you again tomorrow.